Today I have a 17.3 inch HP laptop. I'm going to do some upgrading and some fixing on it and I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's get started. Hey guys, Dale here. How's it going? Today I have a 17.3 inch HP laptop. It's got some issues. I found out, I confirmed that it does have a bad hard drive in it. It's got a one terabyte hard drive. It's bad. So I am going to replace that with a brand new Seagate Barracuda one terabyte, two and a half inch SATA drive. But it also has an M.2 slot, I believe, in this model. It's an Intel Core i5. It's an 8th generation Intel Core i5 processor. It's not a bad laptop, but um, it has a bad hard drive. So I am going to put an M.2 NVMe drive in it. I'm using the Crucial 250 gig. This is where I'm going to install Windows because I am going to do a clean install of Windows. I've already backed up their data off the bad hard drive. Um, it is bootable, barely. It just runs really, really slow. Um, but I'm going to put the new M.2 PCI Express drive in it and install Windows to that. I'm also going to increase the RAM from 8 gigabytes to 16 gigabytes because it currently has 8 and I'm going to put in some DDR4 memory to help that. So as long as I'm in there they said go ahead and do all that. So the first thing I'm going to do is flip it over and we're going to open it up. To start I have to remove these little rubber feet that are on the bottom in the front and the back. I got a little sharp little tool to get it started on one end here. They come up fairly easy. They are self-adhesive and they will stretch a little bit when you pull them off. Try not to pull too hard. Just take your time because when you put them back on they end up just a hair a hair longer so to speak. But it's easy to get them back in place. I'm going to take the one out in the back as well. Done a lot of these H countless HV laptops, upgrades and repairs. <clears throat> First screw I'm going to remove is right here. It holds in the optical drive here because there's a couple screws under here I have to remove as well. Should slide right out without too much trouble. Just like that. And there's two screws right here that I have to re remove. They're a little flat head, very short stubby little screws so to speak. Get those out. All these screws come out using a number zero Phillips screwdriver. I got a good magnetic tip. So now I'm going to remove these screws. There's not too many. And there's one right in the middle here in the front. I always like to put the screws back in the same holes that I took them out of. So I just kind of lay them out in a little pattern on my, off to the side. Some models, some laptops have different length screws. So you want to make sure you put the right screws back in the right holes, of course. And then the back here. There's four along the back. These HPs typically open up pretty easy. Still want to take your time though. Just like that. So we have all of our screws out. So what I'm going to do is open it up. I'm going to take my, hey everybody, I'm going to take my spudger tool here. I usually, I like to use these plastic uh, these blue triangles, you can get them easily online. I'll have a link down below where you can order a little bag of these for a couple of bucks. But we're going to start right in the seam here. Stay away from my optical drive bay there because it's kind of weak over there. Just kind of work it around. Don't want to be sticking big old metal screwdrivers in here. Preferably so you don't leave tool marks, gouge marks, scratches. No fun. And always make sure you're working in a good anti-static environment like I am. My bench tops, my floors are all anti-static. These bench tops in our shop are designed for this kind of work, of course. So I got it started here. Now I'm going to close it. Flip it back over. 
can just see sometimes you get lucky. So Gotta work it up around the CD. Oop, there it goes. Around the CD ROM here. There it goes. Just kind of gently jiggle it. There, we got our bottom pan off. All right, so here's the inside of this. Um, by the way, the exact model of this laptop is HP-17BY1033DX. It's got a 1600 by 900 display on it, by the way. So over here is our M.2 slot right over here on the side and they even gave us a little mounting screw here. Thankfully I do have extras but sometimes I open these up and there's no screw in here to mount your M.2 drive. Um, here's our two RAM slots. Currently have eight. I'm going to add another eight. Give us 16 gigs of dual channel memory and here's a hard drive I have to take out and replace with a new one. So that's uh, first thing I want to do though guys. I am going to remove the battery. It's pretty simple. There's one, two, three, four screws poking and prodding around in here. You know, just it's always best to take a minute and get the battery out of the way. Some of them, of course, you can disconnect from the main board without removing it, but in this case, we'll just pop it out real quick. Safety first. I've done videos where I haven't removed the battery if I'm popping in a stick of RAM if you're really careful. I've never had a problem in 20 five years of doing this. I've never blew one up yet. So, but if I do, it's my problem. Got the battery out. I'm gonna go ahead and stick my RAM in right now. Just like that, just snap it in. It goes in one way, of course. And, this is basically a friction pit over here on this hard drive. It's gonna pop it out of the, all right, drop your tools, Dale. <clears throat> These things are, should pop out of here. Ah, can't get a. All right, make a liar out of me. It's gonna come out of there one way or another. All right, my bad. Never know which end comes up first. So we're gonna get out, it's gonna slide back just a little bit. These little tabs gotta go in there. So we're gonna just carefully disconnect it here from the hard drive. You could disconnect it all the way back here, but I like to do it that way. And, all right, so there's no screws for this hard drive caddy. It just pops right in the screw holes. Just like that, get the bad hard drive out of there. And I have already backed up the customer's data on that, like I said. Into my new hard drive. Crinkle, crinkle. My microphone, sorry guys. <clears throat> so we're gonna put it back in the same way. But I'm gonna install Windows on the new SSD. This will just be a empty one terabyte hard drive to use for whatever you want, basically. Storing files, pictures, documents, videos, whatever. Reconnect it here. Goes in very hard. All right, so we have that in, we have that in now. I'm going to remove the screw. Now first I'm going to open this. I use these drives. It's the Crucial. It's the P2 series from Crucial 250 gig NVMe M.2. It's a Gen 3 times 4 SSD. Do a lot of solid state drive upgrades. Gazillions of them here every week, seems like. Just gonna take out our little mounting screw here. Looks pretty straightforward. And this is the M key, by the way, PCI Express SSD. 
put it back in the hole SSD is great right cameraman says yes all right so we got our new SSD got our extra memory the brand new one terabyte hard drive in here we're gonna put the battery back in baby turn it so I can see it <clears throat> gonna be a knuckle buster Dale just like that pretty much always only one way Four screws back in. Oops. Alright, now we got juice going to us, so you want to be careful. I guess that's in there. Poking in there, don't want to drop any metal tools in here now, so we're good to go on that. Let's close it back up. Now, Call me skeptical, but I always wait to put all the screws back in so that I know everything's okay. Just sometimes you have to open back up for one reason or another. Forgot to connect the battery, something like that. Now we're going to put our. I am going to put these screws back in for the optical drive. I'm going to do a quick clean install of Windows 10 on the new SSD. Get all the drivers. Go to HP's website get any extra stuff that I need get all the Windows updates transfer their data back onto it and it would be an awesome little laptop now with 16 gigs of RAM and an SSD instead of a clunky hard drive with only 8 gigs of RAM <clears throat> just like that alright I got the power cord right here And I got my USB installation flash drive. I have a video on how to make one of these. You basically just download, download the Windows 10 media creation tool and create a bootable Windows 10 installation drive. So I'm going to put it in the USB port. And Windows will, of course, activate with no problem. Uh, I'm going to hit the power button. And I'm going to hit F9 real quick to get to our boot menu. Whenever you add new RAM on a laptop, it always takes a, there's a pause, a delay there for it to post for the first time. Totally normal. Oh, let's try this again, I missed it. Sometimes it'll just default and boot off the drive anyway, but I'm just going to do this. <clears throat> Come on. There we go. So F9 to get to the boot menu, and there's our Kingston USB hard drive right there, or flash drive, just choose that, Windows 10 setup. Now it's kind of hard to see with that glossy screen here in my shop, guys, sorry. But with the i5 in it and the extra RAM, the SSD, it should, should perform a whole lot better now. This thing took about five minutes to boot up before but of course I had a bad hard drive but came in just in time so I was easily be able to get their data off of it before it completely failed gonna accept the license terms go to I always go to custom and here's our two drives right here drive one being our solid state drive gonna choose that to put windows on now we're gonna let it copy over the files 
install everything and I'm gonna let this go I don't want to bore you through the going process here I'll be back in just a minute guys hi there I'm Cortana all right guys a little thank you Cortana so I'm gonna walk you through this setup here real quick and it's okay not to have an internet connection I could connect to the Wi-Fi or plug in my Ethernet but I always opt out of that it just goes a little quicker to set it up and it's gonna activate just fine so don't worry about that. All right, I'm going to choose the United States. U.S. keyboard. Now anything I opt out of here, you can change later in settings with no problem. I just choose I don't have internet. I just Microsoft wants you to sign in or set up a Microsoft account, but I always opt out of that. That's not something I do. Customers, if they want to do that, okay. no. no password, they can do it themselves. The I do like to disable a lot of this, all this stuff. Except, I do leave the location on. Again, you can change all this later in settings under privacy. No. I know. There, we can remove the flash drive, of course. As soon as it reboots the first time, you can get rid of the flash drive. You're all done with that once it copies the files that it needs to install Windows. And of course, the first thing I always do is get all the Windows updates. I update all the apps from the Microsoft Store, get all those updated. Then I get make sure all the drivers are installed in the device manager. They typically are. Windows on these types of these consumer grade Walmart or Best Buy laptops, so to speak, you can get the drivers right through Windows. There is other stuff you can download from HP in the download section for this particular model. If you want the HP support assist and all that stuff, it's right there to download for free. Right from HP. And this laptop is a little over a year old, so there's no factory warranty left, left on it. People ask me all the time about the warranties on the brand new ones that we open up here and upgrade. Um, we, we, we assume all responsibility for factory warranties when people buy a laptop from us and we open it up to upgrade it. If they ever have a problem or need help or anything, the buck stops right here with us. So, so there, we got a fresh install of Windows. Let me go, well, real quick. I'm going to go into computer management here. I right click on the start button and I'm just going to choose computer management. And I'm going to click on disk management over on the side. We got full screen. And here's our drive that we're going to allocate right now on the top there, the one terabyte hard drive. I'll right click, create a new simple volume. Basically, I'm going to accept all, I'm just going to accept all the defaults on this. If you want to create partitions on it, you certainly can. But in this case, I'm not. Hit finish, it'll do a quick format. And there it is. So if I just I don't know, open up File Explorer real quick, click on this PC. Here's our new 250 M.2 drive. Here's our one terabyte hard drive. I'll just go to Task Manager real quick. Click on Performance, Memory. Here's our 16 gigs of 2400 megahertz RAM. It's going to be in dual channel, so we're good to go. So I'll get all the updates, finish it up, get the data back on it, and have a happy customer. Appreciate you all watching. Check out more of my videos. If you like them, give me a like. If you really love them, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.